Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about the properties of skeletal muscle. Now the four properties of skeletal muscle are contractility extensibility elasticity and excitability now first let's discuss about contractility now consider my arm now i want to bring my forearm towards me so i bend my elbow now to do this movement there are many things involved to do body movements there are many things involved and the important part involved is the muscle now to do this movement the muscles are involved which are the bicep muscles now the biceps muscles are helping me in doing this movement now the muscles they begin to contract they have started contracting they contract more more and more and even more and this is how the bending at the elbow takes place the movement happens i am able to bring my forearm towards me now i'll get it back to its original position so the biceps muscles have relaxed now so this movement is happening continuously the biceps muscles situated here they contract and then they relax they contract and they relax so when the muscle contracts the angle at this joint the elbow joint it decreases so the muscles the biceps muscles they pull they begin to contract they contract and they pull this arm towards me angle is decreasing muscle is contracting angle is de decreasing and this is known as flexion flexion at the elbow joint now i'll get it back to its original position muscle relaxes and this is known as extension at the joint so muscle bicep muscle is contracting relaxing contracting relaxing contraction flexion is happening angle is decreasing at the joint then muscle relaxes back to normal and this is how extension happens so this is how we are able to move walk around do all body movements because of the muscles there are many things involved but the important part involved is the muscles in our body so muscles help in movement this is what is happening now contraction is helping the movement of the muscles now there are two types of contraction one is isotonic contraction now isotonic contraction the muscle is contracting and relaxing contracting relaxing so here you will observe you will notice that the length of the muscle is shortening and lengthening shortening lengthening this is what is happening and movement is taking place so this is known as isotonic contraction change in the muscle length shortening lengthening shortening lengthening now there is another 
contraction which is isometric. I'll show you all. Now I have these dumbbells in my hand. Now these dumbbells are quite light but they can be heavier dumbbells. So I am holding these dumbbells continuously for few seconds and few minutes. I am not doing any movement at the joint. Now how this is helping me? Muscles are contracting in this workout. I am just holding it. Now I am holding dumbbells. Consider you are holding something heavy. You may be holding books, a pile of books. You must be holding a heavy vessel or uh, anything, a bag, a box. Continuously you are holding it for few seconds. And this is isometric contraction. So in isometric contraction, if you notice, I was holding the dumbbell continuously. Now in this, the movement did not take place at the joint and neither did the muscle shorten or um, extend. Now, but in this, there is tension created in the muscle and because of the tension created, I was able to do that. This is known as isometric contraction. In isotonic, the length shortens, extends, shortens and extends. But in isometric, there is no change in the muscle length. It doesn't shorten and it doesn't lengthen. But there is tension created in the muscle and so it is termed as contraction. Now when we go to the gym, we do our workouts. We do our weight training, our cardio. So consider a person is doing the bench press. So in the bench press, the barbell is on top and the person is pushing the barbell away, away upwards, away from his body. Now in this, the muscles are exercised. It's a workout. And in this, the chest muscles, the pectorals and the shoulder muscles, the anterior deltoid and also the triceps are getting exercised, they are contracting. The chest muscles, the shoulder muscles and also the triceps are getting contracted. And because they are contracting, they are able to generate force and strength, increasing the strength and that is how the movement is taking place. So when you work out, you either do your weight training or your cardio training, that is how your muscles are getting contracted. Your walking muscles are getting contracted, your jogging muscles are getting contracted, you start running muscles are getting contracted even more and because of this contraction that is how you can move and you can do your activities. So person is doing the heavy weight training muscles, his muscles are getting contracted and that is how he is able to do the movement. So when you work out, you are working on the property, one property of your muscle which is contractility. Muscles are getting contracted, you are exercising them, you are working them out and you are working on the one property of your muscle. Now let's talk about extensibility. Now. I have this rubber band in my hand. Now I'll pull it. Now this rubber band, it could increase its length. And this is how your muscle works. Your muscle has the same property of increasing its length. And this is known as extensibility. The ability of your muscle, consider this to be your muscle to elongate, increase its length and it can be stretched. Now why is it important to talk about this property of the muscle extensibility? 
just like this example I gave you. Now I observe many people who come to the gym and they work out, they work out very sincerely, they do their weight training, their cardio training and then after they complete their workout, they just walk out from the gym. But that's not right, that's not the right approach because your workout is only complete after you have done your stretching, stretches. Because when you work out, you do your weight training or your cardio, you are working on the contractility property of your muscle. But if you just walk out from the gym and don't do your stretching, then you are excluding this. You are not working on your extensibility property of your muscle. So work on your contractility, work on your extensibility by doing stretching and that is how you can say that your workout is complete. So that is not right, just do not exclude your stretching, it has to be included and it is a part of your workout. The right sequence is doing mobility drills followed by your exercises. It may include either your weight training or your cardio training and then your stretching. And this forms your complete workout. So your workout is only complete with your stretching, dynamic stretching and post your exercises, your stretching. This is a complete workout. So your dynamic stretching which you start in your mobility drills in, is the start of your workout. It is not before your workout, it is at the start of your workout. Then you do your exercises and then at the end of your workout, not after your workout, at the end of your workout, you do your stretching. So this whole forms a part of your workout. This is the right way of doing it. So concentrate on your contractility and also don't exclude. In fact, it's very, very important to include this property work on your extensibility of your muscles through the stretching. Now stretching are of different types which I'll be discussing in my upcoming videos like dynamic stretching, uh, passive stretching and also active stretching. Let's talk about elasticity. Now again I have this rubber band in my hand, I will pull it and then I leave it. I pull it and I leave it. You will observe that this rubber band has come back to its original position, original length. So the muscle works with the same principle, extend it, leave it and it comes back to its original size. And this is the property of elasticity. The property of the muscle to recoil or bounce back after stretching to its original state, original uh, size length is nothing but elasticity. Now you can work on your elasticity by working uh, regular workouts with weight training, cardio and also work on stretching. So weight training along with stretching and then it increases your uh, property of elasticity. Also not to forget to include the right nutrition plays an important part. So work on all the properties of your muscle. Now I will tell you all how this uh, affects the quality of your workout. Now again I have this dumbbell in my hand. So I do a bicep curl.
कंसिडर यूर डूइंग अ बाइसेप कर्ल नाउ माय मसल हियर माय बाइसेप मसल इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग इट इज पुलिंग दिस आर्म अपवर्ड्स टुवर्ड्स मी सो देर इज कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन now this muscle is the main muscle that is helping this movement and this is called the prime mover it is the main muscle the biceps pulls relaxes flexion is happening extension is happening while doing this workout now it is not only this muscle that is helping or playing a important part yes it is playing because it's the prime mover it's the main muscle that is helping this movement but very important we need to understand that not to forget that there's a muscle below this which is the tricep muscle so the tricep muscle is the opposing muscle and it is supporting this movement and this muscle which is the prime mover it is known as the agonist muscle while the muscle below it which is helping this movement supporting it this is contracting this is extending and this is known as antagonist so very often we tend to forget or we are misguided about fitness and we concentrate only on our weight training and our exercises but we forget on the other property of the muscle but it does play an important role in our fitness it affects it it affects the efficiency of your workout by this we can understand agonist and the antagonist both are important and both play an important part in your workout both the contraction of the muscle the force that it can generate and also the antagonist muscle which is helping this by extending by elongating one is contracting the other is elongating and both are working together simultaneously in helping this movement and making you much fitter so always include and understand all the properties of your muscle and work on your fitness so now let's understand what is excitability now suppose you go in the kitchen and there's a heavy vessel placed you're not aware that it is hot unknowingly you touch it soon you will remove your hand and that is because your body has responded your muscles are responding to that stimuli and the stimuli was the hot vessel so the body the muscles have the ability of this property to remove your hand when something is hot and that is response to stimulus so a similar example is when you're walking in a garden and you see a nice beautiful rose and you want to pluck that rose so you go towards that rose and try to pluck it and that's where you realize that it had a thorn soon you remove your hand and this is nothing but response to stimulus so the muscles have this ability so to sum this up when you're working on your fitness work on it rightly do all your workouts rightly include in your program your weight training your cardio training your stretching your mobility drills all of that and also the right nutrition and that is how you can work on all the properties of your muscle and become fit and fitter and be the fittest